A day after the Somali president, Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed, ousted his prime minister, Mohamed Hossein Robley, the tension is rising in Mogadishu. Heavily armed soldiers loyal to the prime minister were stationed around the presidential palace on Tuesday. Robley refuses his suspension, accusing his opponent of making a deliberate attempt to overthrow the government, the constitution and the laws of the land. If the city remains calm, many observers, such as the U.S. Bureau of African Affairs, have called for a de-escalation. Friction within the government is not a good thing. This cyclical political fallout between the former president and the caretaker prime minister affected not only me, but also thousands of other Somalis. The president was democratically elected and I was one of his supporters, but I later regretted supporting him because he had caused so much trouble. The escalation results in a long-running standoff between the two politicians. Pressure on the president to hold elections has intensified since a scheduled vote in February failed to take place because of the lack of agreement on how the vote should be carried out.